there seems to be a wide spectrum where some churches are going very technology heavy, even not only within their services, but online and things like that, online, you know, online church services and things like that. And then you've got the other end where people are, you know, almost very resistant to that, saying, you know, the church needs to be different and it's more about the message than it is about the technology. So I just want to get your guys' opinion to weigh in on what um, you see are some of the pros and cons of technology in ministry and uh, how you think it can be most helpful as well as maybe some concerns you might have. Yeah, it's funny you ask that question because as you know, Cooper, I work with a lot of churches and house of worship and uh, it's amazing. I was at a church uh, just last week, about a 680 seat church uh, in North Jersey and um, the technology level they had in this facility just blew me away mm -hmm. and they're looking to upgrade. Yeah. You know? So, uh, you know, I walk in, there's three camera shoots, there's uh, uh, a sound and video system that's just amazing. There's large screens everywhere. Uh, they literally have uh, about a half a dozen technology people working the service. Mm -hmm. uh, first off, I think it has a lot to do with their worship style. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the, the uh, church trying to achieve uh, from that perspective? Uh, and that'll dictate what technology they use. And then um, from there, I think that churches, I just want to put a caution out there because uh, the minute churches become a show, uh, you're really taking God out of the picture. Yeah. And I've seen that happen uh, where it got into theatrics and it got all about the video, all about the look, you know. Um, and it's a scary place to watch churches go. It can, you can easily fall down that slippery slope uh, when you get too into technology. So it sounds like it needs to be the, the tools need to serve the, the overall principle of what the church actually is.